Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel to subscribe, it's Baby Love Bug Holes. Okay, so some things have changed. I have this new tank all set up now. Lovely tank. I've got some new females. The old females have been passed on to one of my friends so that he can start guppy breeding. That's one of my new females there with the ready tail. And... And yeah, a lot has changed. There's my other female, my new one. Black and yellow tail on her. She's already dropped one random fry, which I added into the baby's tank, which I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, they're, they're settling into the new environment. All the fish are, actually, not just the guppies. And uh, we're hoping this one looks pregnant already from the shop. There's no male in here at the moment, unfortunately. And um, some sad news. My lovely blue techie male, he uh, passed away from old age, two and a half years old, so I got quite a, a long lifespan out of him. Um, he was in here for about four days with the new guppies before he passed away, but I don't think that he was able to get them pregnant or pass on his genetics to them. He was a bit too old and a bit too frail, so I'm going to have to get a new male, which I'm going to do by taking the males out of my first batch of babies which are now six weeks old and you can see them there not as big as I thought they would be not as quick growing as I thought they were going to be I was going to do weekly videos but since there wasn't much change in them I decided I'd wait until they were a good size and uh, they're now at the age where I'm starting to be able to sex them. Um, there's one male in here at the moment that I can sex. Let's bring them all to the front of the glass a little bit and get a good look. There it is. That one that's just playing in the bubbles at the back there. That is the male. The only male I can spot so far. It's almost as if the triangle that makes them all look female and they all do just look female at first it sort of collapses in on itself backwards and turns into a stick very slowly so yeah this is the male here as you can see it's getting a bit more colour than the other blonde guppies it's got a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow appearing on the back of its tail don't know why it's playing in the bubbles but it seems to like it funny thing and um, this is the second batch of babies that I had out of the blonde and purpley mum before I gave them to my friend to have some litters out of them. Um, one of the babies in here is a lot smaller than the rest because it belongs to one of the new mums who came pregnant from the shop and dropped a random fry in my tank. But I figured to put it in here because it wasn't much off the size of these ones which are about two weeks old now um, and these are going to be Techie's genetics before he passed on and the mums I had and I'm waiting on the new mums to give me some more fry so I can have a little bit of variation a couple more different colours I'm going to take all the males out of here that turn up and I'm going to alternately put them with the two females so that they'll pass on Techie's genetics and the other mum's genetics to the new mums. Bit of mixing up and poking and jiggering about, you know. Want to kind of mess it up a little and see what I come out with at the end of it. But anyhow, having quite a lot of fun so far breeding the guppies and uh, I will let you know when I get some babies out of the new mums. And I'll perhaps do another video when these guys here at two weeks old reach about six, seven weeks again and I'm starting to be able to sex them. Oh, that one's got a little bit of colour on it there already. Look at that. That was one of the grey mum's babies. She didn't give me as many the second time, but she gave me a lot the first time. But Blonde Guppy gave me a good 15 babies. I had to cull a few as they weren't very good. They were bent spined. But uh, yeah, so I've got more out of the Blonde Mum in here and more out of the grey mum in there. So it's evened out in the long run. A good batch, good batch of a good 15 out of each, which is always nice to see. 
and uh, wish my friend luck with the guppies and see how he does. Although if he gets any guppies that look like my techie, I think I may be pestering him for a swapsies. As that fish, I don't know, kind of struck a heart chord with me. I really loved him. He was a lovely little guppy. I'd never seen colours like him. He was just so different. I can only hope his genetics passed on to the new fish. And uh, maybe even my own here. But we shall see. And uh, my mate will probably get, I don't know, maybe about four to six months worth of litters out of them every month. And uh, yeah, he's going to have some fun, a couple of kiln jars. He's going to be breeding as well. I do like these new guppies. They are in amazing colours. Not very much on the body, more on the fins. They're an American breed, the pet shop told me. He'd imported them from America and so that should change things up a little I guess. Instead of having British bred and born guppies I'm going to be swapping countries here too. So I'll let you know because this could be quite interesting especially with the colours on these tails of these females. Oh well. Okay guys. Happy guppy breeding.